Hi guys, this is a reading for you for March 6th through the 13th. This reading is dealing with the person that is in your energy right now. And it's for Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> Let's see what messages we get for you guys from the Romance Angels cards. Virgo. Okay. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Oh, okay. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I'm getting that the person that you, or type of person that you would usually go for, um, it's not going to come in your, your soulmate. So, if you meet somebody and um, this person you're not instantly physically attracted to, uh, I'm getting that that does not mean a thing, okay? Some of you, I feel, have broken up with someone um, in the recent past, and this person, when you met them, they were um, what you looked for in a person, usually. But... I feel like there's somebody that's trying to enter your life or somebody that's already present. But this person is not the type of person that you would usually go for. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. But there's something about this person that has you a little intrigued, I feel. <clears throat> There's definitely something about them that's appealing. In retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Get back to the basics. Figure out what it is that you really want. I think this is all about you and not necessarily going on a vacation with anybody. But really, truly figuring out like what type of energy truly vibes with you. What do you really want in a person? Aside from the aesthetics, aside from what you see when you first meet someone, what core values, what it is that you really want. And I think this is a time for you to really um, kind of reflect, kind of go in your mode, that hermit mode, and look at your track record. Look at what you've chosen thus far. And has it like panned out? How was how you know how were those people or how was that person that you were dealing with before? And what is it that you really needed from them? Okay. Can you find that in this person? Or a person? I think that's a challenge here. Okay. I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot. There are images on both sides. So in shuffling and pulling the cards, my eyes are closed, guys. So I won't be biased as to what card I'm actually selecting. Okay. Who is this person that is significant to Virgos? I feel a card just like keep jumping out here <clears throat> who is this person for some reason I'm gonna pull both of these because I keep feeling that and there's three of them actually I see the ten of Pentacles here Virgo energy that is your energy I see the six of swords And I see judgment here rising from the ashes, taking accountability for your own actions and your own feelings. And um, this, there could definitely be an Aquarius, Scorpio, another Virgo like yourselves that is significant for you. But I feel like um, this involves the marriage for some of you, a disconnect in the home. But um, some of you have tried to like get back together with this person uh, several times before. Or you both have tried to get back together several times before. Um, try to work things out. For some of you, uh, that has definitely not um, been advantageous for you. Um, you weren't able to work things out with this person and decided to call it quits. Some of you are really trying to still uh, work things out with this person and you're still like, you know, in the midst of that. 
So for a lot of you guys out there, this actually involves being separated from a partner, trying to work things out with that partner, and making the decision to do that or either go your separate way. But a, but a lot of this is like still in the works for a lot of you. And that may be why you guys are in this reading because um, the separating from this person has been on the table for a while. And for some reason, you guys are not like coming to that common ground of what it is that you actually need to do. To be solid in this relationship. Even if you're not married on paper. This is somebody that I feel like you guys have been with for a long time. Somebody has definitely made a, a decision here to remain in this situation. And I see there's a need to really express yourself if that is the case. If you if you are wanting to remain in this long-term relationship or in this marriage, there's a need to express yourself, express your love, um, to add more emotion, be emotionally present in your situation. And you may have a hard time doing that depending on how long you've been with this person and how comfortable you've gotten with them, okay? my card and then we have the nine of pentacles there this is trying to get in touch with your feelings trying to retreat to get in touch with your feelings do you want to be single or do you want to um, remain in this relationship this is somebody that really wants to work things out with you. They really want to work things out with you. They really want to talk things over with you because they do not want to hurt you. I feel like this person has a lot of respect for you. They have a lot of respect for you. And I feel like um, for some of you, this person has decided to be single because they need to reevaluate things. So do you. Both of you guys are at this point, I feel, where you're, you're trying to reevaluate like why you were in this relationship to begin with. Do you truly want to be separate? Or do you, do you want to remain in this relationship because you've invested so much? And that's the same thing this person is doing. So you guys are like mirroring each other here, actually. And it's probably because you've been around them for a while. You've been with them for a while. And um, so you're like, if, you're, if you haven't talked to this person, you guys are basically living parallel lives right now they're not seeing anybody I feel like right now both of you are at a point where you're trying to come to terms with being single okay but you need this time both of you need this time to really get to the core of what it is that you want <clears throat> Three of Swords here. Libra energy. Some of you may be on the cusp of Virgo and um, Libra. But this is all about being disappointed. But I believe this is shared though. This is not like you hurt them um, or they hurt you. I feel like both of you have been together long enough to both of you have um, felt slighted or felt wronged at some point during the relationship. I don't know if both of you cheated or one of you cheated, but I'm feeling like there was some suspicion of infidelity involved here. <clears throat> oh. Ten of Pentacles shows up again. Then it flipped over out my hand. So once upon a time, this is a very stable, committed relationship. And I think that 
um, you guys have truly discussed, like, do we want to um, just throw things away? Because this is what we've been doing. We've only been involved with each other for this amount of time. And I think you've had these discussions with this person. Do we really want to throw this away? Because <clears throat> you have this family unit, this family dynamic. Even if children aren't involved, you know. Let's see what this is. We have the world there. Look at that. The world is the end of the tarot. Judgment comes before it. Both of you guys have been through a lot in your lives. And this is like the culmination. This is like a lot of karma that has has been um, worked through, dealt with. The world is all about lessons that have been learned. Lessons that you have been involved in um, and that have been quite tough. You're at the point where you are doing something new. Now, I will say this. If you guys have decided to separate, it's going to be a while if you get back together. When you get back together, even. Because with judgment, the decisions are, they have long-term consequences. Because when the world shows up after judgment, it means that um, you have entered another cycle in your life that does not necessarily involve the person that that you've been dealing with it has everything to do with you and what the, the things that you need to do for you okay <clears throat> okay that one's going to come out sideways and then we have a queen of wands yeah Doing what you need to do for you. Being more active in your own life. Being an active participant in your own life. Doing what you need to do for you. So that you can be um, safe, secure, feel happy. Taking care of the shit that you need to take care of. Aside from someone else. And I feel like this person... Your energy is so very strong right now, but I feel like this person, um, I feel strong Scorpio energy could be Taurus here, uh, Aquarius, also Leo, I feel maybe here, but um, both of you, it's like you, you're at this point, both of you are needing to go your separate ways for a bit so that you can figure out what you need to do for you so whatever you're feeling right now this person is mirroring you okay so let's see what they really want from you what is what does this person really want with virgos what do they really want with virgos okay Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. I feel like there is a message here that, you know, even though you guys are separated right now, that it will not always be this way. Things will turn around, but again, it could be a year from now if you're looking to make amends with this person. If, if you guys have not gotten back together, there's a reason why. Because divine timing is at play here. Okay? Saturn is a major arcana. Um, judgment is a major arcana. That means that energy is exterior to you. You have absolutely nothing to do with this. It's not aligned so you guys can be together at this point. Okay? So, so trust in the process. Okay? That if you guys are not together... It's best that you're not together because they're not ready and you're not ready. Okay? And then, box, you will receive a gift. When the time is right, you guys will end up back together. If the time is right and you guys have fully done the work, both of you, because both of you had to actually 
um, do the work in order for this to happen. Keep in mind, energy is fluid. So things can be sped up or things can be hindered depending on um, how each one of you chooses to, to deal with this. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Namaste.